First, I have to remember my name and then the pronouns. My name is Charlie Patch. My pronouns are they and he, and I am the writer, performer, musician, uh, person uh, who created the show. All the things. All the things. All the things. I'm Autumn Smith. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I am the director of this awesome work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We live in 2024. <laughs> 2024. Uh, <laughs> you know, the world is imploding around us, and we, we're seeing a rise back into this. Uh, you know, it's we're in a crazy cycle again of, of trying to find answers for things that we're never going to find. So we're, we're scraping for those nobles, and as we do, we start to put others... Um, to the side mm -hmm. and I think we've lost our empathy I think technology has aided in the loss of empathy even when walking today down the street I was like we're Toronto is is going back to where it was in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s you're seeing um, more people displaced more people in need and yet now we have a convenient blocker that we put in front of us and we ignore everything around us mm -hmm. and I think you know this we need to get back to what makes us human and not robots and that's de-escalation and empathy right so um, yeah I, I think everyone should know it I think everyone needs to stop we need to start listening actively listening mm -hmm. to one another and to really take stock of what is important and story and people are important. And I think it's also like not just thinking about um, de escalating people in mental health emergencies, but also de escalating people who used to have access to things that they no longer have access to as well. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, people who have never encountered the emergency health care system, like, um, thinking that they, you know, you know, these ideas of like going from public to private so that you know, class gets more access and gets to meet their needs as quickly as they want. Um, I don't think they, they don't recognize that they need uh, de-escalation in all of this because realizing that you're impacted by the system that you've created um, is a really humbling thing to watch people go through. I've been inspired by the hot dog cart stories for a very long time and as I sort of moved through life I just sort of saw how much it affected everything in my life and especially how I am an emergency response uh, and working in healthcare and just watching also how people treat other people with uh, mental health emergencies and just thinking that there's got to be some way for me to show what I've learned and bring it into a larger arena for people to learn a lot more about how to how to live together in this uh, in the cities mainly. Great. And of course, trans propaganda. Thank you. <laughs> He's going to tag that in the very end. Yeah. <laughs> 100, 100, 1,000%. 1, yeah. <laughs>